friends welcome to my hospital at ranaghat india this is feco in an uncooperative patient in such cases we should fix the eyeball with a tooth forceps and we should hold the eyeball very close to the limbus if we hold it away from the limbus risk of conjunctival laceration and subconjunctival hemorrhage is much more by this time the main incision has been made viscoelastic substance has been injected and two side ports also have been mapped now capsular axis the anti capsule is incised with a 26 gauge pen needle a nice capsular flap is raised i hold this flap with the uterus forceps guide this flap anti clockwise and do an optimum sized continuous curvilinear capsular axis in this case the axis size is about 5.5 mm hydro dissection is done hydro delineation is also attempted we can see that the nucleus rotates very nicely visco is again injected and now is the time to introduce the tip of the feco handpiece and here goes the tip of the feco hands go bevel down remove some cortical matter and this will improve visibility now turn the handpiece make the bevel towards the corneal endothelium bury the tip into the substance of the nucleus and chop the nucleus how beautifully you can chop the nucleus and now each fragment is emulsified with ultrasonic energy and it is removed this is a soft grade 2 nuclear sclerosis cataract this is the last nucleus that's it the nucleus is managed and now viscoelastic substance is injected into the anterior chamber by the time my assistant gets ready with by manual i can remove some portion of the cortex by a simco cannula that's it and now i take the by manual irrigation is from the left aspiration from the right and here it is the cortex can be very nicely elegantly removed by by manual irrigation aspiration it looks nice we must hold the anterior portion of the cortex just underneath the anterior capsular rim and not the portion which is over the posterior capsule this is hydro polish and now a hydrophobic no this is capsular polishing by ia2 mode here the vacuum is only 20 mm of mercury and flow rate is 15 ml per minute and here goes the intraocular lens this is a hydrophobic acrylic intraocular lens from appa sami associates it is called supra fove 
beautiful lens no financial interest just very much grateful to appa sami associates appa sami associates have helped thousands of ophthalmologists in india they have delivered instruments without any down payment and they have never given any pressure on the doctor for early payment that's it now the side ports are hydrated so that these stab wounds close we must remember that if these side ports are very small they get stressed and hydration required is much more if it is not very small say of medium size hydration required is not much and now this is the final lavage of anterior chamber i'm going behind the lens there was some something sticking to the posterior surface of the optic of the lens that has been removed and now the anterior chamber is formed and the case is concluded thank you very much for watching hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills.